Hey guys, Vinyl Community, how you doing? Um, hope you guys are having a good week so far. Um, welcome, I kind of changed my name to uh, Vinyl Rebel. Um, the last name I had was Area 51 Comics Art. And I kind of used that channel when I was in college for our comic book club. Because we were a bunch of artists getting together drawing a bunch of comic stuff. But uh, now it's, I still collect comics. I still collect uh, Star Wars toys, memorabilia. But I do a lot of, of vinyl collecting as well. So I'm going to kind of stick to that uh, with this channel most of the time. Um, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So I call my channel now The Vinyl Rebel because we are rebels collecting vinyl. Um, and I also wanted to kind of share something with you guys. I'm going to start doing uh, like, like a stuff I use on Spotify because I discover a lot of metal bands on Spotify which is great. Um, I know some people don't like streaming, but I do stream and I collect vinyl. And it's weird because I'll collect, uh, I'll stream music and, and find these metal bands on, on, on Spotify and I'll end up buying their vi their vinyl records. So, um, so I wanted to share that with you. And also something that some people have asked me how I can do, you know, jazz and metal and all this other stuff and kind of, tell you a little bit about my background I kinda I, I grew up listening to everything uh, my mother listened to a lot of you know Elvis Presley, Beatles, um, Jerry Lee Lewis, uh, Roy Oberson just like my dad and my dad listened to a lot of Johnny Cash and Stevie Ray Vaughan um, and a lot of like old gospel music and my father was a, he's a retired minister so I kinda grew up in that era, in that uh, that environment um, my sister listened to a lot of contemporary Christian music, kind of like uh, Michael W. Smith, Amy Grant. So I, I still buy that stuff because it kind of brings me back to my childhood. And um, my brother listened to a lot of Petra, Sweet Comfort. He listened to a lot of Chicago, um, a lot of the, the 80s stuff growing up. Him and my sister did. So I, I got into everything. And when I got into high school or middle school, my brother was in high school. He was listening to a lot of jazz so one day he brings home Herb Albert on a record, and I just was totally blown. So I'm a big Herb Albert fan. When I got into high school, I was playing jazz drums. So uh, that kind of like influenced me into jazz. So now I listen to like Chuck Mangione, a lot of jazz stuff. Uh, my mom was very influential on me with music. She would always encourage my, my music, uh, and so would my dad. Uh, and I got into punk. Uh, I, I got into Ramones. Uh, Misfits, actually the Michael Graves era was my Misfits. So I've got some few things to show you guys with that. Um, so I got on all the Iron Maiden, the Led, the Led Zeppelin, um, the Metallica, the you know Black Sabbath, the Deal Years, all the Deal stuff. Um, that's how my my taste in music kind of grew that to that. So I, I collect everything, but I've got some things I got to show you. Um, today and I, and I did a lot of record shopping this month. I ordered online and there's one record I've been waiting for that I still haven't gotten because it's an import. It's a uh, it's a really cool record. I haven't seen anybody have this record. I haven't seen any videos on it and maybe I'm just missing it. I haven't seen this vinyl anywhere even to order in the US. Uh, if you order it you have to order it overseas in pounds. So um, I finally got it. Um, it's supposed to be coming in by June 1st. So, and, and I ordered it at the beginning of this month. So, um, here's some things I wanted to show you guys. Something that my wife picked up because she's a big fan of, of bands like this. Uh, and I'll show you what she got and what I got her for Mother's Day. So, uh, but uh, cheers, guys. See my skull? It's a little goblet. So, and it's tea. So, um, but first off, let me start out with this album my brother bought home when I was a kid. I loved it. Um, actually, it's in backwards on the sleeve. But um, it's a great southern rock band. It's 38 Special. Sorry about the glare. Strength in Numbers. Uh, this is a really cool, cool record because you can... It slides out. The actual sleeve is on the top. The album is really nice, uh, but this was an album that my brother brought home one time, and, and uh, we had it on cassette, actually, 
and uh, we used to jam out to this all the time. And the singer for this band, his brother was the lead singer for Leonard Skinner and who passed away. And um, his younger brother is now the lead singer for Leonard Skinner. So, you know, the, the, the brothers who were in the, uh, Leonard Skinner and all these bands, there are three of them. So it's pretty cool. And they, they sound great. They're, they're a hard rocking, great group. So I'm gonna put that back in its sleeve. Because I don't like my stuff being out of their sleeves. Okay, um, I picked this up for about two, three bucks at a, at a, a comic shop, a comic fair, uh, a toy show. Here you go. I was selling some stuff out there, and my wife's a big fan of these guys as well. And I just showed them to you, at special for at special forces, thirty eight special. So if you can see there without the glare, and uh, she loves this song, uh, "Caught Up in You." She's always listening to that song. That's one of her favorite songs. So it's just got this really cool 80s look to it. Uh, great band, like I said, we love 38 Special in this house, so. I found this one for about three bucks as well. Uh, and it's in great, great shape. And the vinyl is perfect. It's uh, 38 Special uh, Wild wild-eyed southern boys and I'm a southern boy we're from Texas so I'm not actually born in Florida I'm sorry about the glare guys try not to get that glare on there this is a great cover there's a little bit of ring wear on top here and maybe a little bit on the back but the vinyl is great everything is everything is just really clean and I, I do put them in my uh, anti-static sleeves There's the band there. So I don't normally take everything out unless I'm gonna go ahead and listen to it. <laughs> Cause then it gets a little difficult to put back in. So, um, the 30 is special, yeah. It's a band that I grew up with and I really like. Uh, out, of, out of all the Southern rock bands, they are my favorite band, Southern rock. As far as Southern Rock goes. So. And these are all that I picked up this month. So it's kind of. I spent a lot of money this month. And I'm, I'm kind of holding back. You know a little bit. Uh, and we're, we're supposed to go to a flea market this weekend. That has a record store. So me and my wife are like. Okay we're, we're going to spend. But not too much. Um, this uh, I got. At a toy show. It's White Lion's Pride. Great album. I, I'm looking for big game, but this is this is really great. I clean all my albums up with Goo Gone uh, on the front, and it smells very citrusy. But it, it it works out really well. I haven't had any problems. I do clean the the albums themselves with uh, Iso Purple alcohol and mostly water, and um, they come out really nice. And I sleeve all my stuff, so I really want to take care of it. There's a little bit of ring wear here. And uh, there's a little bit of water damage, I guess, and some folding on the on the edges here. So, but not too bad. Great album. Uh, this one I'm really excited about uh, that we picked up. Great condition. It's Inve Momstein uh, trilogy. I don't know if you can see that, try to get there for you guys. A great cover. Great album. Uh, when I was in a band, a Christian metal band, I was in a band called Igniter here in San Antonio, Texas. And we used to play Liar, the song Liar. So we had uh, our guitar player, James, is amazing. He was an amazing guy. Our bass player, every every guy in the, in the band just did great. They were, we used to play Dream Theater cover songs at practice. So that was really good. Now I'm not saying that I was the greatest singer and I could do all this stuff, but uh, I, I I have a, I just really like these bands and, and playing them, playing their music and everything else. Uh, uh, and we're, we're supposed to, uh, do some stuff hopefully soon uh, we haven't played in gosh like 16 years so and we had a good following too but uh, one of our main influences was Ingve Momstein so and it's Ingve Momstein not Ingwe <laughs> so but here it is cool huh all right um, as you know as I told you I'm a big Misfits fan uh, but I'm uh, more of the Michael Graves stuff and, and to the newer stuff I like as well so um, 
I have the Misfits Vampire Girl album. This is great artwork. And on the other side, it's Zombie Girl. So this is an album that actually has, and I need to get a new sleeve for it. Um, it's like a marble, like a red marble. See that? It says Misfits. So oh, that I got upside down. Really cool. Really, really, really cool. And I actually have these on CD as well. <laughs> so, like I said, I'm a big Misfits fan, a big Michael Graves fan uh, from that era. I wasn't really into Danzig. I know some people like, <gasps> but I, I could never get into Danzig singing for some reason. I don't know why, I've tried. I really tried. Um, but I, the two albums I wish I had, and I have them on CD, I have the original CD pressings, but are the uh, American Psycho and Famous Monsters. I wish I could get those on vinyl, but if I'm sure they'd be pretty expensive. Um, this is the Misfits Friday the 13th album, which is pretty cool. And on the back it has Freddy. It has a, and it's an EP, I guess. Uh, it has quite a few songs on there. It's a really clean, really nice album. When I got it, the jacket was a little bit bent here, which kind of sucked. But you can see the band on the back. And I do have some Misfits shirts, and I got a lot of Misfits toys and stuff like that. This one comes on like a blood red. So pretty sweet. And when I got this album, down here at the bottom, you can kind of see it. When I pulled it out of the case, it was like that. Um, you know, sometimes these male guys, it just it says fragile, and they still throw stuff around on it. So kind of. And this this uh, may have been from uh, just the packaging itself as well, putting everything together. All right. Okay, sorry about that. My everything went black. Um, I got one more from the Misfits. It's Project 1950. This is a really big record. The the case is really big. The sleeve is really big. Everything's really big. So none of my sleeves fit it. So and it's actually signed by Marky Ramon. It says Hall of Fame, Marky Ramon. I got this signed at a toy toy uh, Comic Con in San Antonio, and. Uh, it's really cool, very soft. It's really, really nice. And I got it signed by him. I do have a picture of me and my daughter with him. And uh, he produced this record, Marky Ramon produced, and played on it. And uh, this is these are all songs from the 1950s. So it has This Magic Moment, Dream Lover, Diana, Donna. So it's songs from Richie Valens and, you know, other uh, great balls of fire. So this is a great album. Um, has the bonus track, Witch Daughter, uh, Witchcraft, Daughter of Darkness, and You're the Devil in Disguise great album. Uh, Marky Ramon was a little bit ticked off because it didn't credit him on this album. His name is nowhere on it, but I had him put his name on it for me. So, pretty cool. It was really cool to meet Marky Ramon. He was really nice. And I wish I had a really nice sleeve for this, but I don't. I have to use one of these. So, Alright. Something I got in, I was really excited about, and I'm really excited about showing this to you guys. Um, it's the it 25th or 30th anniversary, which is those uh, 30th anniversary, I believe. Awaken the Guardian, Fate's Warning. Um, gosh, this was my first introduction into them back when I was a kid. Um, still has all the everything in there. I mean, this is a, a wonderful, wonderful. If you're going to get in a Fate's Warning, that little Spectre was it within is, is great. It's great. Um, but for me, I this album is just beautiful. And it is the uh, blue vinyl. It's got the record sleeve in it, the lyrics and the pictures. And it does come on blue vinyl. Pretty cool. And I'll put that back together later. Okay, now, 
<laughs> I'll put that with that there. Um, I'm a big Star Wars fan. So my mother got this for me, and it was so nice of her. My mom buys vinyl, too. She still, she still has some of hers. But, and uh, my wife's mother, her, her late mother, uh, left us a lot of her vinyl records because uh, we, we, we bought vinyl. And they're all Neil Diamond records, so that was really nice. But uh, this is something my mom got for me. The Star Wars uh, The Force Awakens picture disc. And this is really cool because it folds out and then it closes up here. So this is really nice. I was really excited to get it. I'm a big Star Wars fan and I have all their stuff. I have all the Star Wars stuff and, and I even keep this in a sleeve as well. But she got this, I believe, at Barnes & Noble. Now, here's something that my wife got for uh, Mother's Day uh, from my mother. Because my wife, she loves the movie. I, I'm a big fan of the movie. I have, I have almost every issue of the comic books. Uh, my wife loves the music from this movie. So it is the first Guardians of the Galaxy album. The second one's not out till August. So this is the first one. It's got the actual score from the film and the music, uh, the, the music from the 80s and 70s on there. And it is a gatefold. There you go. And I think it comes on black vinyl. I haven't really looked. <laughs> so yeah, it's black vinyl. So there it is, Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, this band was pretty hard to find. Um, and I looked everywhere for it. I finally found it on Amazon. Uh, and after a while, for some time they said they didn't have it, uh, but now they do. Um, it's this is a great album. I, you guys have to get this record. If you don't have it, you have to get this record. It is really heavy, very melodic. It's a great album. It's Kingmaker by Pretty Maids. You know, I showed this to my son. He says, hey, "They look like an '80s band, Dad." Oh, yeah, they've been around for a long time. So, but this is a very great album, very heavy album. Uh, it is a gatefold, and it does come with, uh, it's, it is on black vinyl, if I can get this out, oh, here it is, it has a little custom labels in there, which I need to get a new sleeve for this one as well, so. I know that's upside down, so I'm sorry, guys. Here it is. All right. We're almost done. Okay. Uh, this other band that I found, uh, gosh, uh, this album was, it's an, it's an incredible album. If you don't have this one, this actually has to be go on your want list for yourselves. Uh, listen to it on Spotify. Check it out. Tell me what you think, if you like it or not. And, uh, you know, gatefolds are a little hard to sleeve sometimes. There they go. Especially when they're double albums. And I found some double album sleeves, so that's pretty cool. But here's a band that... Uh, this, is, this is a great album. The, the cover art for this is amazing so and uh, Sonatica Sonatica Sonata Artica it's always hard for me to pronounce that name I don't like this band for a long time so the album art is really cool it's called uh, the ninth hour still has I've got the uh, I took the the uh, hype sticker off and it is a gatefold it is an incredible beautiful album and it's on black vinyl. And it does come with lyric sheets. So, uh, so there they are. And uh, I don't want to take them all the way out because they get kind of hard to put back. I'm sorry, guys. I just kind of. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, so Sonatica Artica. 
Sonata Artica. I keep saying Sonata, Sonata Artica. So, uh, but cool, cool album, The Ninth Hour, get it before it's gone. Because I have a feeling that when it's gone, it's that's it. So, <laughs> that may be it. All right, almost finished. My little goblet here. Um, this band I got from Soundstage Direct. They had one album left. They had two albums left, so I got the second to the last one. <laughs> um, a band that I've adored. I have every CD they've ever put out. This is my first time owning something of theirs on vinyl. I heard them back in 1992 on the radio. And they've only ever been on the radio one time. Uh, they have that one hit song off of this album. Uh, it wasn't really a big hit, but it was. It's, it, it changed my life as far as music goes. Uh, I never knew music like this was possible. Uh, I knew it was possible when you had Rush, but this heavy? Mm -mm. It's Dream Theater Images and Words. And the album is beautiful. It is a really, I don't know if you could see it, it's glossy. So nice. It is on black vinyl, and it can't, it comes with a, a lyric sleeve, which is just black with with has some like of their other albums on there, stuff like that. It's on black vinyl. It's really nice. Let me see if I can get the record out for you guys. Well, I'll just take it all out. What's really great about this is it has the origi original. Is it Atco? Atco label on it. You can kind of see it there. Images and words, Dream Theater. This is a very nice, very heavy, I believe it's 180 gram vinyl. Um, came with nice sleeves. So, Dream Theater, Images and Words, guys. Now, uh, the album that made me probably the biggest one of the biggest fans of this band. I've got all their stuff on CD uh, and had some some of their stuff on cassette. I have the original CD pressing, so it's uh, this is this is great. I'm excited about it. I got it in the mail the other day. Megadeth, rest in peace. Sorry guys. Let's see if I can get that glare out there for you. I still got the hype sticker that I, I save. Um, It is a beautiful album. I'm very happy to have this one. Very excited. I'll be dropping the needle on all my stuff soon. I just got some new IKEA uh, Kallax shelves in today. So, it's got the original, it's like a booklet, or no, it's a, just a sleeve. <laughs> Capitol Records. And I'll be uh, sleeving uh, Probably putting some MoFi sleeves on those, hopefully, or static free. But other than that, the sleeve is pretty good. It is. This is a great guys in the band. I mean, Marty Friedman and Cacophony, when I heard that when I was a kid, it's, they were just incredible. When I found out he was in Megadeth at the time, I was blown away, super excited about it. So. And the last one. Uh, I got from my wife on Mother's Day, on Mother's Day, because she's a huge fan of this pan. It's her favorite album ever. Uh, very, she was. It was kind of hard to find, um, but I paid about twenty-seven dollars for it. So not too bad. A friend of mine has a record store. He called me. He's like, "Hey, I got this record. Do you want it?" I said, "Yes." It's the Joshua Tree from U2. So, um, she almost cried when she picked it up because I kind of misled her, thinking I was getting her the Guardians of the Galaxy 2 album, which wasn't out yet. But, uh, me and the kids gave it to her. She was really excited. It's her favorite band, and it, it is a gatefold. Um, I'll see if I can open that up for you guys so you can take a look at it. Is original pressing from 87, I believe. It's got a matte finish to it. Uh, this album is in super nice condition. It has a little bit of creasing here along the edge. Uh, no ring wear 
a little just slight bends, bends, but other than that, it's it is really nice. It's a nice, nice, nice record, and it has the uh, the lyric sheet inside. Came on Mofi sleeves, so I'm just really glad I got this for her. I'm really happy, and uh, she's she loves it. So, me too, Joshua Tree. And I do have more records that we picked up, but I don't have the time today. <laughs> I wish I could spend more time with you guys. You guys are awesome, and um, I'm I'm glad to share these with you guys. And I'm glad when you share your albums with us, uh, with everybody in the final community, final community, and with me. So I really enjoy seeing all your stuff. So like I said, I'm going to have some stuff that I found on Spotify. Now, I know a lot of my the, the metal friends that we have out there, they, they probably go, oh yeah, I know that band. Uh, but bands that uh, you guys should listen to on Spotify, and if ho hopefully they can get some vinyl out on some of those bands. Some I don't know if they do, but hopefully there'll be some vinyl out on some of those great bands. Um... I also would like to just say thank you everybody for being so nice to me and being so cool. I mean, I've been collecting vinyl for a little while. I don't have a huge collection, but uh, it's just now building up. I, it was really weird because there were not, not a lot of vinyl stores around. And um, so I would, I would go to a friend of mine who had some records and he had maybe a small shelf full of them. So I would get my stuff, whatever I found there. And then uh, there was a thrift store that I would get a bunch of Herb Albert stuff. And I think I bought all their Herb Albert stuff, and because uh, they don't have any more. Uh, but uh, I'll be showing you guys some more stuff soon, okay? And uh, get ready for that surprise. I do, I do have it. I haven't seen it. <coughs> Excuse me. I haven't seen anybody have it, and I'm uh, looking forward to showing it to you guys because it's. I think it's a pretty rare album, so it's brand new. Uh, well, actually, not brand new. I think it came out in 2016, something like that. So. Uh, you guys take care, uh, God bless you, and uh, just keep spreading love, and, uh, you know, we'll see you guys later. All right, take care. Bye-bye.